In Rebel 3, we have a number of really nice tools that are going to help us with drawing straight lines. And I want to go ahead and take a look at two of them in this video. Now, the first one's probably the simpler to use of the two, but it probably doesn't have the full range of power that you might want. And so I wanted you to understand it first to understand that it's really good for just quickly making a straight line, but there's a better tool if you need to make a lot of straight lines. So I'm going to start here with the pencil. I'm going to go ahead and choose the 2H. And I'm gonna go ahead and get the color of black. So I can make a mark just like so. If I wanted to make a straight line stroke, all I need to do is hold down the shift key. And what you're gonna see is I set an origin point. And if I just simply move my cursor someplace else, you'll see I'm setting the end point for that line. And I can put it wherever I want. And once I go ahead and begin to click and drag, it's going to drag the straight line stroke along those two points. So you can see that we can simply hold down shift, then move out to the end and then simply drag back like that in order to make a straight line. And you need to do this any number of times. The flaw of this approach is that if you need to align more than one line to another, then this can be really problematic using this approach. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come over here and I'm gonna go ahead and clear that layer off. And I'm gonna come up here to edit. I'm gonna come down here to ruler. And this is going to allow me to enter into the ruler tool. You can see we have two options for the ruler tool. We have freehand, and lock control points. So first of all, let's see how the ruler works. The first thing to understand is that the crosshairs that we have here are basically the exact same thing as the crosshairs as we had when we were holding down shift. And what I mean by that is that we're gonna be drawing at the line that's created between these two crosshairs. These nodes that you see in blue are going to allow us to move the whole thing. And you can see what I mean by saying that there's a line there between these guys. And then the center node is going to allow us to reposition the whole ruler wherever we want. So right now you can see I do not have freehand on and I don't have lock control points. As a result, what I can do is I can simply click and drag along that line in order to create a straight line, move the ruler, click and drag, and you can see that I'm able to keep these lines that are going to be straight relative to each other and create nice parallel lines that way. Now, if I wanted to, what I can do is I can choose to have a more lively line than what I'm getting here. You can see that I have pressure sensitivity. If I press light and then I press hard, you can see I get some pressure sensitivity, but as far as like creating like a shakiness to this line or any kind of wave to that line, you can see I can shake as much as I want. I'm not really getting a shakiness because that is really sort of forcing the line to be really straight. So if I wanted to make this more shaky, what I can do is I can come over here and I can turn on the free hand. I can go ahead and use that same line, but now I can be kind of shaky and you can see that it's going to allow more variation to that. I can also simply make the line very quick and what you can see is I'm able to create sort of a curve in that line. So the idea here is that if you want to use the freehand, it's basically the same thing as really using a ruler, but in a very loose manner, meaning that you're just sort of freehanding it, using the ruler as sort of a loose guide, instead of when you have the freehand off, you're using a very strict guide. You're really pressing up against that ruler to get a straight, straight line. If for some reason you wanted to use this ruler, but you didn't want to accidentally change these points for some reason, what you can do is you can come over here and choose to lock the control points. Once you do that, you can see that I'm not able to do anything as far as moving those control points. And as a matter of fact, if I try to click on them, you can see instead what happens is I draw. Now, if I wanna draw between the two lines, you can see I'm still able to do that. So the idea here is that this doesn't have any impact on the ability to draw with the ruler. It simply has an impact on the ability to do anything to the ruler until you turn off the lock. Now I can come back over here and move it and then continue drawing like so. So those are your two options for working with the ruler. And as soon as you click this X here in the ruler control panel, you'll see the ruler goes away and we're right back into working with this as a regular freehand painting tool.